Hey learners, welcome to my channel, guys. This is Pranshi Verma. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn data compression unit second multiple choice question and answer. And it's a quiz for you guys. Let's begin. In this, your first question is: How many quotes are blank space quotes are quotes and are optimum for a given model set of probabilities? Option A: Parity. Option B: Prefix. Option C convolutional code, option D block code. Right answer is option B prefix. Okay, Huffman codes are prefix codes and are optimum for a given model set of probabilities. Okay, next question. The Huffman procedure is based on observations regarding optimum prefix codes, which is our option A. In an optimum code, symbols that occur more frequently have a high probability of occurrence will have shorter will have shorter code words than symbols that occur less frequently option b in an optimum code they two symbols that occur least frequently will have the small the same length option c both a and b and option d none of these okay so your right answer is option c both a and b The Huffman procedure is based on observation regarding optimum prefix code, which are in an optimum code symbols that occur more frequently will have shortened code words than symbols that occurs less frequently. As well as in an optimum code, the two symbols that occur least frequently will have the same length. Okay. Next question. The best algorithm for solving Huffman codes is option A brute force algorithm option B divide and conquer algorithm option C greedy algorithm option D exhaustive uh, search right answer is option C greedy algorithm okay ye apne data structure mein bhi padha hai guys the best algorithm for solving Huffman codes is greedy algorithm next question How many printable character does the ASCII character set consist of? Option A, 128. Option B, 100. Option C, 98. Option D, 90. Right answer is option B, 100. Okay. 100 printable characters does the ASCII character set consist? Okay. Next question. The difference between the entropy and the average length of the Huffman code is called. Option A, rate. Option B, redundancy. Option C, power. Option D, none of these. This is very important question. And right answer here is option B, redundancy. Okay. The difference between the entropy and the average length of the Huffman code is called redundancy. Okay, guys. Next question. Unit of redundancy is option A, bits per second. Option B, symbols per bits. Option C bits per symbol. Option D none of these. Right answer is option C bits per symbol. Okay. Next question. The redundancy is zero when option A the probabilities are positive powers of two. Option B the probabilities are negative powers of two. Option C both. Option D none of the above. Right answer is option B. The probabilities are negative powers of two. Okay. Next question. Which bits is reserved as a parity bits in an ASCII set? Option A six. Option B seventh bit. Option C eighth bit. Option D ninth bit. Right answer is option C eighth bit. Okay. Eighth bit is reserved as a parity bit in an ASCII set. Okay. Next question. Bits are needed for standard encoding if the size of the character set is x. Option A, x plus one. Option B, log x. Option C, x square means x to the power two. Option D, two multiply by x. Right answer is option B, log x. Okay. Next question. In Huffman coding, data is a tree always occur in option A, leaves. Option B, roots. Option C left subtrees. Option D none of these. Right answer is option A leaves. Okay. 
In Huffman coding, data in a tree always occur in leaves. Next question. An optimal code will always be present in a full tree. Is true or false? Is true. Okay. Next question. Running time of the Huffman encoding algorithm is option A, order of n log c. Option B, order of c log c. Option C, order of c. Option D, order of log c. And right answer is option B, order of c log c. Okay. Next question. Running time of the Huffman algorithm if its implementation of the priority queue is done using linked list. Option A. O. Order of log C. Option B. Order of C log C. Option C. Order of C square. Option D. Order of C. Right answer is option C. Order of C key power 2 means order of C square. Okay. Next question. The unary code for a positive integer n is simply n blank space followed by a blank space. Option A, 0 and 1 respectively. Option B, 1, 0 respectively. Option C, none of these. And here, right answer is option B, 1 and 0. Important question is, focus on it. The unary code for a positive negative n is simply n, 1 followed by a zeros okay next question the unary code for four is option a triple one double zero option b four times one zero option c four times zero one option d triple zero double one right answer is option b four times one zero okay so this is the unary code for four next question in the turnstile code, all code words are of blank space length. However, each code word represents a blank space number of letters. Option A, different and equal respectively. Option B, equal and different respectively. Option C, none of these. Right answer is option B, equal and different. Let's see. In the turnstile code, all code words are of equal length. However, each code word represents a different numbers of letters. Okay. Next question. Turnstile coding is a form of entropy coding used for option A, lossless data compression, option B, lossy data compression, option C, both, option D, none of these. Right answer is option A, lossless data compression. Turnstile coding is a form of entropy coding used for lossless data compression. Next question. The main advantage of a turnstile code is that Option A. Errors in code words do not propagate. Option B. Errors in code words propagate. Option C. The disparity between frequencies. Option D. None of these. Right answer is Option A. Errors in code words do not propagate. Okay. Next question. Application of Huffman coding. Option A. Text, con text compression. Option B. Audio compression. Option C. Lossless image compression. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. All of the above. Okay. So, they all are the application of Huffman coding. It's including text compression, audio compression and lossless image compression. Okay, guys. Now, let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. Wish you a very, very all the best for your examination.